Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Katie and I'm the organic esthetician. So last week's video we talked about oil cleansing, its benefits and how to do it. And this week we're gonna build on that topic and really talk about what oils are most beneficial for each skin type. Now, it's so much information to cover and so I actually ended up writing a blog post to go with this video. And I highly recommend that after you watch this video, you jump over to my website, theorganicesthetician.com and click on blog and then read the first post. It's titled Essential Fatty Acids and How to Pick Oils for Your Skin Type, which is exactly what this video is gonna be about, but it'll be a little more condensed. And I did make some really, <clears throat> excuse me, detailed charts that I think are really handy. And so I highly recommend that you pop over and at least peek at the charts if you have any questions about what oils you should be using based on your skin type. So let's just get to it. Okay, so the two main things to think about when picking a facial oil, whether it's for cleansing or for moisturizing, should be what essential fatty acids are present in the oil and how comedogenic is it? So essential fatty acids are healthy fats that the body requires for biological processes. Essential means that the body can't produce these fats on its own. It needs to synthesize them for food. So we're going to be talking about three fats, two essential, one non-essential. So the first one is alpha linoleic acid, otherwise known as omega-3, then linoleic acid or omega-6, and then oleic acid or omega-9. And so omega-9 is technically a non-essential fatty acid, which means that the body can produce it on its own, but it needs three and six to be present for that to happen. Otherwise, it also has to synthesize it from food. Almost all nut, seed, and plant oils are made up of these healthy fats and are given specific attributes based on the quantities present. Oils high in alpha linoleic acid or omega-3 are lightweight oils that are really great at maintaining moisture and elasticity in the skin while also balancing oil production. They're anti-inflammatory and anti-aging and they're especially great at protecting and preventing against UV damage. In linoleic acid or omega-6 are really important for the structural integrity of the skin. They are lightweight oils and they're great for declogging pores and addressing breakouts. Studies have actually shown that acneic skin is naturally low in linoleic acid and so adding oil high in linoleic acid to the, to the skin is a great way of treating acne. It's also helpful at treating scaliness in the skin and um, addressing things like eczema. Lastly, oils high in oleic acid or omega-9 are great for dry skin because they're richer, thicker oils that are skin softening and anti-inflammatory. If you have acne, you probably wanna steer clear of oils high in oleic acid because it can exacerbate any acne that's already present. So those were all the essential fatty acids. The second thing to look for when picking a facial oil is the comedogenic rating. So there's a rating system from zero to five that rates how pore clogging an oil is. So zero rating is doesn't clog anyone's pores. A one rating is a slight chance. Two is won't clog most. Three is some people break out, some people don't. Four is it'll clog everyone's pores. And five is don't put it on your face. So now that you know what to look for, let's talk about the best oils to use. I'm gonna again suggest that you hop on over to my website and take a peek at my blog because I made some pretty fancy charts. So there are three charts. Each one has a handful of oils that are high in that specific fatty acid. It gives the percentage breakdown of that oil, the comedogenic rating, and then also like a little benefit column. So it's like this oil is super cleansing, this one's really healing, this is super anti-aging. I'm feeling pretty fancy that I did this. Uh, you are lucky and so welcome. <laughs> 
Hopefully this is as beneficial to you as I think it will be. I really thought it was and the light bulb really kind of clicked when I started breaking oils down this way. But let's talk about a couple here. So chia seed and flaxseed oil have the highest percentages of omega-3 or alpha linoleic acid, but they are a three and the four on the commonogenic rating scale. So I'm gonna suggest that you ingest them as opposed to using them topically. However, Sasha Inchi oil, which is the oil from a nut of a tree in the Amazon, um, is super anti-inflammatory and um, antioxidant and naturally high in vitamin E. It has a percentage of 54% of omega-3 and it's a zero to one on the commonogenic rating. So really great for all skin types, even oily skin. Next up is linoleic acid or omega-6. So anyone with oily skin who's afraid of using oil, these are the oils for you. Safflower oil is up to 80% linoleic acid and has a zero commonogenic rating. It's lightweight, it's silky to the touch, and it's really great for cleansing the skin. So really great oil cleanser. Other oils that are high in linoleic acid but also have a zero to one comedogenic rating are sunflower seed oil, watermelon seed oil, hemp oil, and raspberry seed oil. All of these make excellent moisturizers or cleansers based on your needs. All right, and last up is omega-9 or oleic acid. So the oil with the highest oleic acid content is olive oil up to 83% and only a two on the commonogenic rating system. So really nourishing and super antioxidant. Um, for someone who is dry but also acneic, neem is a really great oil to use. It has 50% oleic acid. It's a one to two on the commonogenic system, system scale rating, that thing. It's a one or two. Um, and it's really antimicrobial and it's super healing as well. And lastly, um, argon, which is 43%, but it's one of the only oils high in oleic acid that is a zero on the comedogenic scale. So I love argon for all skin types. It's antioxidant, it's nourishing, but it's also really high in vitamin E. So I would say, combination skin, normal skin, dry skin. If you want a medium weight um, moisturizing oil, Argon is the way to go. All right, so you might have noticed I didn't talk about coconut or jojoba oil. I'm kind of just over them. Uh, coconut is a four on the comedogenic scale, so really you shouldn't be putting it on your face. It is antimicrobial or antifungal, but I don't know, I think it's better for the body. Put it on your hair. I know some people have really great luck with it, but I feel like that's what it is. Um, and then jojoba, jojoba. So jojoba is very similar to your skin's natural sebum, right? Um, it is, however, low in all of the fatty acids that we talked about today. It's balancing um, as far as oil production but I don't really feel like it's that moisturizing. And I mean, it is good for purging the skin. So if you have congestion that you wanna pull out, jojoba is definitely the way to go. But if you want a moisturizer or an oil cleanser, I just think there are better suited oils out there. Maybe you'll find one when you look at my chart. On my blog, on my website, theorganicesthetician.com. So thanks for watching. As always, questions and comments down below. It would be super rad if you subscribed also, and I'll see you next week.